Thank you for listening to today's Veterans Christian Fellowship devotional Bible study. Do nothing from vain glory, but to the glory of God. Please click the link in the description to read along, and be sure to look up and study the reference scriptures throughout. Our scripture reading today begins in Philippians chapter 2. I'll be reading verses 1 through 18 in the Legacy Standard Bible. Therefore, if there is any encouragement in Christ, if there is any consolation of love, if there is any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion, fulfill my joy that you think the same way, by maintaining the same love, being united in spirit, thinking on one purpose, doing nothing from selfish ambition or vain glory, but with humility of mind regarding one another as more important than yourselves, not merely looking out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Have this way of thinking in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, although existing in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a slave, by being made in the likeness of men. Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, of those who are in heaven, and on earth, and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So then, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or disputing, so that you will be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I will have reason to boast, because I did not run in vain nor labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I rejoice and share my joy with you all. And you also rejoice in the same way and share your joy with me. The past few messages have discussed topics such as establish for us the work of our hands, faith that's pleasing to God, and walking in the word, not the world. All these topics lead us to the purpose of life for all believers, to glorify God. This is something that the unbelieving world can't achieve as all engage in infelicitous worship. Rejecting God, they glorify people, places, things, and the ever so popular self, which in the end amounts to nothing. Even Jesus said, if I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My Father, whom you claim as your God, is the one who glorifies me. God has created all things for His glory. Speaking of His children, Yahweh says, Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name and whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed, even whom I have made. God is sovereign and in complete control over all creation, for his purpose. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 4 says, Yahweh has made everything for its own purpose, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even in the rebelliousness of sinful mankind, God will make himself known and be glorified. In instructing Moses during the Exodus, God said, And once again I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he will chase after you. I have planned this in order to display my glory through Pharaoh and his whole army. After this, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites camped there as they were told. The phrase, then they will know that I am the Lord, that is Yahweh, is one that is used many, many times throughout the Bible. In it, God is expressing that he will be glorified and that all will come to a knowledge of him. In Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 13, he says, And the day I display my glory will be a memorable day for them, declares the Sovereign Lord, that is Yahweh. 
In Isaiah chapter 45, verses 22 through 24a, he says, Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is no other. By myself I have sworn, my mouth has uttered in all integrity a word that will not be revoked. Before me every knee will bow, by me every tongue will swear. They will say of me, in the Lord, that is Yahweh alone, our deliverance and strength. The Bible declares that salvation is found in Christ alone, and that in the name of Jesus every knee should bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Verse 24 of Isaiah 45 continues saying, All who have raged against him, that is Yahweh, will come to him and be put to shame. Make no mistake, God will be glorified, whether in rebellion which leads to shame, or in obedience to God's will to glorify him in the body, knowing that believers were bought with a price. The former amounts to toilsome labor in vain, while the latter is pleasing to God as Christ's true disciples walk with the Lord. Jesus' death on the cross was the price that was paid for our salvation. He lived to glorify the Father. In John chapter 17, verses 1-5, through Jesus prayed, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son also may glorify you, as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. For followers of Christ, Jesus said, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Therefore, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, the Apostle Paul instructs, Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Thank you.